wish you the blessing of Shalom, Shalom. Hi, I'm Yochanan with Galilee of the Nations. I want to wish you greetings and shalom. I want to talk a little bit about our new debut record with Galilee of the Nations and Provident Integrity Distribution. It's entitled, For Zion's Sake, I Will Not Be Silent. It's based on the scriptures, Isaiah chapter 62, verses 1 and 2, where it says, For Zion's sake I will not be silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest. This album has 19 tracks on it, 16 of which are brand new. There's 10 artists and 78 minutes of music. You've heard of Lamb, Karen Davis, and Ted Pierce, all of which are on this album. But there are several artists that you haven't heard of before on Galilee of the Nations, three of which are gonna have albums that are coming out later in 2007. The first one is called Meha Shemaim, the Hebrew words from the heavens. It's a couple of guys with some tremendous retro sounding messianic praise and worship music. The second that has two tracks in this album is called Zemer Levav. That's Hebrew for song of the heart. A family, mother, father, and five daughters. Also very special music. The third artist is Kathy Schuster. And Kathy's had a record with us before and she's in an Enya-esque kind of a style, and I think you're gonna really appreciate her music as well. And then we round out the album with four more artists. Jordan Marcelino, Rachel Washington, Evan Levine, and Hartsville. This album is filled with a lot of very exciting songs. Shalom, for Zion's sake. May the God of Israel reign, your name, and many, many more. But there's a song on the album called The Forgotten People. This is a Holocaust remembrance anthem. I had the privilege of co-writing the song with Ted Pierce. Ted also performed the song. The inspiration for this song came last summer when world media and news were bombarding all of us with anti-Semitic slurs from Iran calling for the destruction of Israel. In addition to that, I guess we've all heard about the Holocaust denial conference that was also put on by Iran. That did it for me personally as a Jewish believer because I thought about six million Jews that were murdered and annihilated in the Holocaust in World War II and I felt like I had to say something. So we birthed the forgotten people. Since the completion of the song, it's already been picked as the theme music for the Prayer for Israel gathering at the NRB convention and the theme music for the March of Life in Dachau, Germany in April. What's interesting about the March of Life is it's being put on by a ministry called TAS. TAS Ministries in Tübingen, Germany has a pastor named Jobs Bittner. It's an amazing congregation. 70% of the congregants' families were Nazis in World War II. This pastor built the church over the train tracks that took the Jewish people to Dachau for their destruction. And so in 2007, April, there's gonna be a walk. Christians from all over the world, Jewish people from all over the world, and anyone that wants to take a stand against what's going on is going to walk what was the death walk to Dachau and they're calling it the March of Life, giving glory to Jesus. The song The Forgotten People carries several other features. One, the beginning of the song starts off with Rudolf Hess, who was Adolf Hitler's right-hand man, crying out, Heil Hitler, along with many of the Nazis. Towards the middle of the song, you hear David Ben-Gurion, the very first Prime Minister of Israel in 1948, singing Hatikva, which is called the Hope, the Israeli National Anthem. The song ends with Pastor Jobs Bittner crying out to God on behalf of Germany. He speaks of the silence of his fathers in the past, 
He speaks of the silence in the world today, and he challenges the world to say never again, never again, never again. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent is an event-based album in that it's tied into two major events which I talked to you earlier about. I want to make a comparison though to an album that I had many years ago come out from the land of Israel called Adonai, The Power of Worship from the Land of Israel. That also was an event-based album celebrating the first jubilee in 2,000 years in the land of Israel. And I'm convinced that this album is making a statement, not only musically, but it's making a statement spiritually to the world in which we live today. It encourages a Christian stand against anti-Semitism. It encourages all of us to worship God with a heart for Israel. And I believe that we can have impact with the Lord's help. And finally, it encourages us all to go back to the Word of God Romans 11:15, which says that when the Jewish people come to know their Messiah, the greatest revival that will ever hit this planet will begin. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. I believe can encourage that kind of a spiritual awakening. God bless you. I'm